Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're heading into the middle of November, actually towards the end of November, and the NFL season is really heating up as divisional races and conference races are getting tight for playoff positioning. So before we get into the actions for November 21st, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools that you need. So let's take a look at some of the games here for November the 21st for the NFL season. There's a bunch of games in store. You see here, Detroit and Cleveland. We're not going to look at every game. Green Bay, Minnesota. That's the first matchup we want to look at. In this classic NFC North battle, you see the Packers face the Vikings. The Packers are burning hot at the moment. They won their last game at five out of their last six. While the Vikings are average status, they are coming off of a win and they are uh, three and three over their last six. The Packers are a road favorite. You can see the odds of 1.67 to 2.18, which translates to a minus 2.5 in on the point spread with an over under of 49.5. The score prediction has the Packers in a blowout, 36 to 11, with confidence in prediction of 80, almost 85 percent. At the power rankings indicator, you're going to see that the Packers are at plus 29 and the Vikings are at plus 12. If you're considering the over and under, you see the Packers after the last game trending in games way under the line. The Vikings are trending in games slightly over the line. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are the teams favoring according to their favorite underdog status? You see here that the Packers are more stable at plus four, and the Vikings are moderately stable at plus one. Let's take a look at the direction of the line since it opened. You see it opened, this is the Packers line at 1.671, and you can see it got to 1. Uh, where was it? 1.746. And it's climbed back up to 1.67, which was where it opened. So you see overall there really hasn't been any change in the line. What I like in this one is the Packers. I really do believe that they are completely a superior team. They'll take care of the Vikings. They will win, cover, and I'm going to bet over. Houston and Tennessee. Colts and Bills. See a lot of games here, a full slate of games with the exception of the few teams that are on a bye. I'm going to look at the Saints and the Eagles now next. The Saints are averaged down to moment. They have lost their last two after winning their previous three. The Eagles are averaged stats. They are won against Denver in an impressive fashion on the road, and they have won two out of their last three. You see the odds of the game. The Eagles are 1.75 to 2.05. Uh, the Eagles are a 1.5 point favorite with a low over under total of 43.5. If you look at the score prediction, that's indicating to bet under. Of course, the confidence prediction is only 48%, but you can see how close this matchup is. Eagles by just a single point, 21-20 on the score prediction. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. If you're considering the over and under, the Saints are trending in games under the line, while the Eagles are trending in games slightly over the line. In that case, I usually try to avoid the over under, but let's take a look at a few other factors before we make that decision. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Saints are at plus 18, while the Eagles are at plus 6. See how stable the two teams have been? The Saints are minus 4, so they are one to avoid. They have not been consistent with their favorite underdog status. The Eagles have been at plus 4. Let's take a look at the movement in the line, if there has been any. You see the line here, the Eagles, it started at 1.9. And now they are at 1.752. So you can see it's more in favor of the Eagles now than it was before. I do like the Eagles. I like the way they're playing the last few weeks, taking advantage of their running game. I do like the Eagles to win by a field goal. But I think it will be a lower, lower scoring game, and I will bet the under. 49ers and Jaguars. Washington and Carolina. Next game I want to look at is Cincinnati and the Raiders. The Bengals head to Las Vegas to face the Raiders. Neither team is playing their best ball. Lately, you can see both are off, off of two-game losing streaks. The Bengals are 2-2 two two over their last four. They are averaged down. The Raiders are ice cold down. Also, losers of their last two. Coming up a blowout loss to the Chiefs. You can see the odds are dead even at 1.9. 
with the Bengals at minus 0.5 fair, so practically a pick em game, and the confidence in the prediction of the Bengals winning by 27-18 score is 52%. The over-under is at 50.5. So the score prediction indicates betting the under, but let's take a look at some other factors. Let's take a look at the power ranking indicator first. So you can see at plus 19 for the Raiders, and the Bengals haven't been updated since October 24th, so you can't really take too much with that plus uh, 22 for them. Uh, let's look at the total predictor. You can see that the Bengals are trending in games under the line for the last several weeks. The Raiders are trending in games over the line pretty much since, well, since the last season. They've been trending over the line, so they've been playing in high-scoring games. I do think I don't like the over in this one, though. I actually like the under in this one. Just getting a feeling this is going to be a more defensively oriented game. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, neither team has performed according to their favorite underdog status, which makes this even a more difficult game to pick. But I do really like the Bengals in this one. I just have a feeling that Bengals will cover. This is a Bengals line that they are even a slight favorite at all on the road. Leans me towards picking the Bengals. And I think it will be a low scoring game. So the Bengals and the under. Cardinals and Seahawks. Dallas Cowboys and Kansas City Chiefs. This is the game of the week. The Cowboys come in burning hot. They won their last game. And they are 5-1 and one over their last six. While the Chiefs are burning hot on a three game winning streak. Dismantling the Raiders last week by 27 points. The odds are in favor of Kansas City. By 2.5 points. With 1.69 to 2.136 odds. The over-under is set at a high 56.5. If you look at the score prediction, though, that, that this score prediction is considerably under the line, 23-14, to 14, with a relatively high confidence in prediction of 73%. But let's take a look at some other things. The totals predictor has the Cowboys trending in games over the line. The Chiefs right around the line, barely under. I think I would probably avoid the over-under bet in this one. But um, let's take a look at the power rankings indicator. The Cowboys still... Uh, near the top of the league at plus 28. The Chiefs are climbing there up to plus 21. The consistency factor, according to favorite underdog stats, you see both teams are pretty, doing fairly well as far as that goes. Cowboys at plus 3 and the Chiefs at plus 2. So they are at least moderately to relatively high stable. Um, let's take a look at the line, see if there's been any movement in the line. This is... The Chiefs money line, you can see the Chiefs opened at 1.73. There's been quite a bit of movement here. Look at that movement in this range here. And now it went all the way up to 1.67. And it's down to close to where it opened, but a little bit, actually a little bit more in the favor of uh, Kansas City. It's now at 1.69. I do like the Chiefs in this one. Despite the fact that the Cowboys blew out the Lions last week. I got the Lions, excuse me, the Falcons. They blew out the Falcons last week. Even so, I like the Chiefs to win this one and cover, but I'm going to bet under the line. The Steelers and the Chargers. Here's the last game of the week I wanted to take a look at. The Steelers come in burning hot despite the fact that they're only able to tie Detroit, but they were playing without Ben Roethlisberger. He is back in the lineup. That will make a difference. The Chargers are average down. They are coming off of a loss, and actually they've lost three out of their last four. Um, I believe Roethlisberger will be back, but then again, if we take a look at the line here, perhaps not. It's a huge line favored, uh, in favor of the Chargers at 5.5 points, 1.41 odds to 2.868 odds. The over-under is set at 47.5. If you look at the score prediction, it also had the Chargers by a 33-27 to 27 score with confidence in prediction of 53%. So we're looking at a higher scoring game according to that. The power rankings indicator shows... The Chargers at plus 25 compared to plus 23 for the Steelers, so they are neck and neck. Um, the totals prediction shows the Steelers are trending in games under the line over the last few weeks, while the Chargers are trending in games under the line since you know, roughly the beginning of the season, back in September, September 19th. Let's look at the consistency factor. The volatility oscillator shows that neither team has been performing consistent according to their favorite underdog status, both in the negatives. So take that with a grain of salt before you make your prediction. Let's take a look at the money line. This is the Chargers money line over time. You can see they started at 
549 and it has changed a lot look at the fluctuations mostly more in favor of the chargers at 1.41 that's kind of an indication that maybe roethlisberger will not play i haven't checked on his status but or it could be just perhaps because the steelers flat out couldn't even beat the lions but in any event the chargers are the pick i really believe the chargers will take it at home and cover but i will avoid the over under so there you have it. Those are the games for this week in the NFL. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.